Hi everybody, welcome to another evening with Sips. Tonight, we're taking a look at Besiege. Besiege. Uh, lots of people are talking about this game, saying how good it is. Uh, people have mentioned it to me and they said that they would like uh, to see me do this on an evening with Sips, so I am here uh, to please, or not, as may be the case. Uh, this is Besiege. Uh, this is on Greenlight, uh, which is like an early access thing on, on Steam if you've never heard of it before. Most people have heard of it. I mean, it gets so much bad press nowadays as well. It's got to be said. But uh, there you go. You can pay money to play this game in its early alpha stage. Uh, this one is definitely in early development, but uh, it's very, very promising. And I think that's why people are going crazy about it, because uh, it is very, very fun. Uh, for what it is right now, and there's going to be all sorts of new stuff uh, coming in the future, but uh, let's take a look at it. Before I start, actually, um, you'll see, if you know anything about this game, you'll see pictures on the internet of people who have made, like, gigantic, like, um, dick rams and all sorts of, like, penis launchers and these, like, huge, crazy trebuchets and stuff like that. I I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> I First of all, I'm too dumb to do any of that kind of stuff, and second of all, uh, this video is probably not going to be like six hours long or whatever while I try to figure it out. I'm just going to show you the basics of Besiege uh, because it's cool. Maybe wet your whistle a bit and see if you would like to try this at some point as well. Uh, so let's do it. We're going to... Well, there's some other modes here as well. There's Moon, which is under construction. I mean, you could take your siege engines to the moon. Who doesn't want to do that? I mean, that's a lifelong goal of mine. Uh, so when that's not under construction anymore, that'll be great. There's also the sandbox here, which is like some sort of crazy gauntlet or something but let's uh let's go into like the normal mode uh we'll pick this map here this is uh ypsilon we're gonna click it and we can uh see i've already done a couple i mean don't ask me how i fucking pass these because as i said at the start i'm trash at this game conquered zone one southern cottage uh let's jump in and we'll see what it's all about boom southern cottage prepare to meet your maker all right so the point of this game is to make a siege engine. Look, the game is quite helpfully telling us uh, how to make our own siege engine, uh, engine of destruction. Um, and we have to destroy this uh, little cottage. Look at it. It's quite quaint. It's got some uh, some sheep outside and some rocks. And it uh, looks like could be a farmer, could be a scarecrow. I'm not sure, actually. Um, but basically what we want to do is we want to create a siege engine with all the tools that we have at our disposal here. Um, and pretty much ram it into the cottage. Uh, so the game is going to uh, let us know how we can do it. So we can make like this H-shaped uh, frame. And we can put some wheels on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we can place the machine on the ground with this button. Uh, which is pretty cool. And then press play. And we can accelerate with the keys. And uh, and we're done. So fine. Let's, uh, let's copy what the game is telling us to do. So it's saying that we need to like put a thing here. There we go. And here too. Alright. So far so good. Uh, and also, uh, we want to... Uh, shit, you know what? That was the wrong one. Uh, we're gonna have to somehow delete this, and I can't remember how. I think it's like just... Oh yeah, you just hover over it and it's delete. Okay, fine. Wood block then. I think it's this one, actually. Uh, and uh, on the other side too. Let's place some stuff here. Fine. We're gonna get our H shape. Put some wheels on this motherfucker. Here we go. Some, uh, some, some blinging rims. There we go. We got some nice rims. All right, what was the next step? The next step was to put the wheels on. We've done that and then place it on the ground. So let's set the machine on the ground. Fantastic. And now uh, we should be able to drive the machine after we press play, I think. Press play. Okay, we're ready. Broom, broom. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, so we've got our wheels. Let's just change the angle slightly. Look, the farmer is out there tending his crops, the sheep and everything. And then all of a sudden, broom, through the wilderness, here we come. Zone conquered. Look at that. So easy, right? I mean, the first level of any of these kind of games is always very easy. Um, okay, we'll move on. We'll move on to the next zone and see what challenges lay ahead of us. Oh, Southern Mill. Okay, so as you see, we bring our siege engine from the last map through. And I think you can actually... I think that's like a thing in this game, or might be a thing in this game. Um, I think what people will end up doing is they'll try to, at the start, hopefully make like a really versatile siege engine and then just try to use it like all the way through, which is kind of cool. It means that you'd have to engineer something really neat, but I don't know if you're limited to how many blocks and stuff you can use at the start. Like if I want to put like, let's put like a tower on this one. Um, and let's say we want to like put like some weapons on or something like there's weaponry in here. Let's put like a, see, we can like launch a cannon. 
Should we launch it? A cannon? It's C to ignite. Let's see if this works. Boom! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> wow, okay, well that kind of worked. Um, I feel like I want to do that one again because I didn't actually get like the good view. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck, I've never done that before. Oh, that feels really good. Okay, well all we did was mount a cannon on the top of our really crappy H-frame and then we blasted the mill uh, out of... Uh, the uh, out of the universe that mill is just like sailing away to oh shit this one's really hard all right so old howl battlefield this is like a obstacle course uh i mean i don't know about you guys but like i'm not very good with like any of this kind of stuff like there's a steering hinge and uh and like a brace and stuff so like the steering hinge i think is because like you need to be able to here look Let's delete these tires and look, let's put this steering hinge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> brace yourselves. This is going to be pretty bad. All right, so we put like the wheels onto these. I didn't even know if this is the thing that to do. But basically, we have uh, the ability <laughs> to, st to steer now. I mean, we have to be very careful because the physics in this game will mean that I think the back of... So we can't go through the mines. I want oh, shit. Okay, well, the sheep. I mean, the sheep seem to be doing our job for us. We can... Oh, fuck. Okay, firing the cannon didn't really... Well, this might get us through, actually. We might be able to just sort of wing it. Should we try to... Should we try... Oh, shit. Well, we've lost... Okay. Well, we've lost a little bit of a leg and <laughs> steering hinges. I mean, maybe it needs a brace or something? Like, we can sort of pivot around now that we've got... Watch out, sheep. I think we can maybe run him over, actually. Let's see if he, like, jumps onto the cannon, and then maybe we can... We got him. Uh, we didn't manage to actually shoot him. Uh, we only get one shot with the cannon as well, interestingly. Okay, uh, let's stop and restart. So these steering hinges, I have no idea. Like, I'm not an engineer. I don't know anything about cars or anything. Is this right? Like, or is that just the dumbest thing you've ever seen in your life? You'll have to let me know. Look at this. We can put, like, some wooden panels on here. Do we want, like, some sweet panels at the back? I mean, maybe there's a way to make it so that, like, these things don't just, like, fall off. Like, there's a hinge here and a swivel joint. Oh, there's a half pipe, too, so you can do some skateboarding moves on here if you want. Or maybe that just holds, like, uh, the dick rocket, like I was saying at the start. Oh, look, there's some other wheels and stuff, too. So this is uh, mechanical. So there's, like, a steering apparatus. There's a decoupler. A uh, contractible spring. Like, look at all this shit. There's unpowered medium cogs. I don't know what this stuff does. Um, should we try? There, it does, like, a lot of nothing, actually. And we might be able to now maneuver... I don't think we can, actually. I think this is going to break. This isn't really going to work. We're going to hit the mine if the sheep don't hit it first. Let's see if we can, like, just bait the sheep into... Come on, sheep. Get out of here. No? Oh, we lost it. There, we're done. We're dead. Look at this back tire. Is... We're going the wrong way. I mean, we have some... Ste oh, we we've lost it now. We can't steer it all... But we should be able to know we can't... Well, we did. We we almost couldn't take out the sheep, but it managed to... Oh, shit. Look at that. The fucking physics are great, though, right? I mean, that's fantastic. Uh, okay. So we need to, like, rethink this. Oh, God. This is going to take forever. I mean, I don't even know how I passed this one. I actually have passed this one, and I think I did something very similar to what I'm doing now. I just managed to, like, somehow brute force it with, like, sheer stupidity. Uh, and it worked out. But I don't know. We'll have to... <laughs> I wish there was, like, an easier way. I don't know these steering hinges. Like, is, is there, like... Maybe you have to, like, do it so that you have all four wheels and then you have something that, like, sort of comes down to help you... Oh, maybe that'll work, actually. Maybe if we had something like this where, like... It's gonna go back... Uh, there's no way to sort of, like... Uh, maybe that'll work, actually. Like, it'll come down or on the side. Let's just try this. This is gonna be so dumb. Will this work? Okay, so what we want to do is, like, that. But then we can, like... Okay, so, like, you can c make it come down a bit, and then you can straighten out. I mean, it might work. Uh, so, what? which way... Do we want to, like... Oh, shit, no. We want to, like, go... Oh, fuck, it's really hard. I, is this how they had to, like, do stuff in medieval times? Because, holy shit. I mean, I don't think I would get on very well in the medieval times. Uh, let's try to... Oh, fuck me. This is not working out, and it's basically because I have no patience. I think if maybe I was a little bit... Oh, actually, can we do it? Okay, let's let's lift up the steering apparatus. Okay, we need to steer ever so gently. <laughs> oh, no, come on. I think it's because it's too heavy. Oh, fuck, we might, we might get through, actually. I can't believe this. All right, let's try to steer like this. Oh, shit. 
Okay, the only problem is is that there's a mine in the way. And these sheeps are like... Sheeps are really crowding me. Come on, sheep. What are you doing? All right, we might have to use the cannon to, to shoot this thing out of the way. Let's try to steer away. No, 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 not right into it. Come on, what are you doing? Come on, don't do this. Don't do this to me now. Not at this important job. Okay. Boom! Oh, shit. I forgot that it sent us... Oh, fuck. Did we make it? No, we did not make it. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, we almost made it in. Um, so there you go. I mean, that, it, it just goes to show. I mean, if you're not very good at engineering and stuff, maybe this isn't the game for you. Obviously, I'm completely hopeless when it comes to this kind of stuff. But actually, uh, part of the fun, of course, is to try different things and fuck around and eventually get there. Um, which, you know, is appealing to some people. What is all this stuff? What is, what's a fucking swivel joint? Anyone? Does anyone know what a swivel joint does? Should we put a wheel on there and just see? Swivel joint. All right, swivel joint. Now's your time to shine. Um, the, well, like, okay, so it's, it's turning around. Okay, so I guess that would be cool if you wanted to make, like, I, I don't know, I'm drawing a blank. What would that be cool if you wanted to make? I have no idea. It spins around and so did, so did the tires. Boom. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that ball go. A and actually, somehow we didn't uh we didn't fall backwards. Which is uh interesting actually. So, I seem to be able to like somewhat turn, but not I mean, I wonder if I can get like another This doesn't make any fucking sense, but I wonder if I could put like another one of these back here if like it, something will give and I'll be able to turn and stuff. Should try it. Hey, come on, it can't be that hard. This game can't be that hard. Okay, so we're just... Whoa, shit. We're going uh, pretty straight now. These things are turning on their own. Oh, look at this. Let's, let's try to shoot the mind. Ready? Oh, I <laughs> just missed. I was so close. All right. Um, how did I do this last time? I think I just put... Let's try this. Let's see if we can do what I did last time to get through this stupid map. I think last time I just went crazy. We don't need the cannon for this one, so let's take all this stuff off. Um, I think I put steering hinges literally on every side here. Uh, and I just sort of slowly made my way towards the thing. And I think I was lucky because the sheep managed to, like, detonate the... Well, you'll see anyway. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so... We should be able to, like, sort of ease our way. It, I mean, it's kind of like the Mars lander sort of thing, isn't it? Look, see? <laughs> kind of, in a way. Come on, sheep. You need to do your... You need to do your duty here. Not close to the lander. Not right on the lander, sheep. Okay, we're going to have to, like, go around, I think, and then swivel back up. Okay, we're going to do that. All right, so we want to, like, position ourselves as such. There we go. And then we want to... Fuck. We did not want to do that. Now we're down one... Fuck. That was an important wheel, too. We're going to have to restart. All right. Look it. We're going to get it this time. We're going to go, like, up this way. Not too far, though. Out of the way, sheep. For Christ's sake. Okay. Here we go. Look at the control, though. Like, this doesn't make any sense at all, but I feel like I'm much better at controlling this than I was uh, the last time. Okay. So we want to go in this way here. Obviously, careful not to hit any mines. We've been careful. Uh, but it looks... Oh, fuck off! Come on! I was so close! I was so close to finishing this unconventionally. All right, fine. This might be the last try. We'll have to see. Is this the last try? No, come on. It can't be. All right, sheep. You've met your maker. Hope you're happy. Twice now. Two, two, two maker meetings for the sheep. We're going in. We're brute forcing this. Shit. I, do you know what? I, thinking about it... Oh, look at that. Mad spinners. Thinking about it, last time I think I got to the finish uh, and I was on fire, but it still managed to work. Okay, look it. This time we're not going to rush. We're going to take it nice and slow. All right. We're going to line... Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking... <laughs> Why? Why? I'm sure this can work. I'm sure that this can work. Maybe this is, like, the way to get the high score on this map by using, like, the least amount of shit possible. Or maybe there's just, like, a much easier way and I'm just dumb as hell. It's quite possible that there's a much easier way and that I'm just dumb as hell. We're going to loop around. Look at this. See, I feel like the map is made in a certain way so that you can be dumb as hell and still win at this game. Or at least that's how I like to think. How are we going to do a full turn here, though? That's the only thing. We can't really because, look at the machines already. It's sort of, like, me... Oh, fuck. We lost... 
I love how the wheel still turns when you lose it. I, th I think that's a nice touch. All right, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna reverse in, possibly. Are we reversing? Okay, there's a pillar in the way, but we've done it. Oh, zone conquered. Can you believe that? I feel like that's not something that should have um, actually happened, but there you go. All right, should we try the next one and then uh, call it there? Is that enough besieged, do you think? This one's a tough one because, look, there's archers on the wall and there's also a wall. I think we're going to need to get the cannon back. I feel like maybe the cannon is, is a good thing to have here. Uh, but we need to, like, sort of have it so that the... Uh, thing doesn't we, we need some weight at the back basically and i think we can do that like this look we can get rid of this one here and we'll put a brace all right here we got a brace here now we're gonna just sort of put it here like that okay now we have a brace fantastic uh let's get some more let's get some wooden panels okay because we're going to be taking a lot of archer fire here and of course archer fire is not something that you want to be taking uh when you're sort of driving a siege engine we're going to protect the whole rig okay we've got some wooden panels that's fantastic uh some mechanical stuff do we need any mechanical stuff i don't think so uh we want a cannon a, a flaming ball we've got boulders we have a plow uh we could try to plow that down i mean there is a mine there uh flamethrower is a pretty good one should we try the old uh, flamethrower what is the button again i think the button is y Okay, great. So, if we move in, I mean, bearing in mind we have the same crampy controls we had last time. Now, if we get close to these dudes, and we unleash Fiery Hell. There we go. Fiery Hell is upon you. Look, one of them is on fire. The wooden panels seem to be working, too. That's quite nice. Uh, and we can just sort of... Good grief. <laughs> got, the, got the fucking steering. I mean, bearing in mind it's the medieval times. I don't know. Like, I don't think everyone had, like, three-point... Uh, five power steering or wh whatever they call it Dolby digital surround sound and stuff like that I don't think any of that kind of stuff existed now. We're just going to plow into the cottage fantastic uh, We're just gonna maneuver. Oh, well, what do you know? We managed to pass it Unconventional yes, but still a resounding success <laughs> even though these guys are still blazing away at me Look at this. I can still sort of drive the whole thing is a big heap of junk at this point uh, But you get the idea look we knocked down the cottage and the mill uh, and we did that in the face of adversity. And we also managed to barbecue two guys up on that wall while the other guys still just... I mean, what a waste of arrows. I mean, the whole contraption has, is long dead, but, but still. Um, great. There you go. Besiege, everybody. Uh, if you haven't heard of this game or you were wondering uh, what it was all about, uh, this is it. I mean, like I said, you can make some really crazy shit. And I have seen some really crazy shit on the internet. People have made these big, massive engineering marvels and stuff. And again, I don't think I could ever do that. I mean, I'm quite, I'm quite good at making something shitty, persevering with it um, until the end of time, basically. Uh, and then eventually uh, reaching my goal in an unorthodox way. Uh, but when it comes to building uh, and creating really complicated um, weapons of mass destruction, I wouldn't say that that's my forte. Um, but there you go. <laughs> it's a fun game, nonetheless. And it's really cool how, like, all the physics and stuff... I mean, some of, sometimes it's absolutely crazy. Uh, but it's fun. I mean, and, and for a green light game, uh, surprisingly stable, surprisingly uh, fun and... and seems to be polished and stuff like that so probably one of the one of the better ones uh, in that system currently i mean some early access games are just a fucking shambles uh, but this is actually quite good uh, and i'm glad that it was recommended to me and i'm glad that i got to play it as well uh, i hope you enjoyed that uh, if you want to see more let me know as usual with an evening with sips usually these are just one-off videos but i usually use them to gauge to see um if people would like to see more so um leave likes comments leave me notes on reddit and stuff like that let me know i can always come back and do some more maps i can come back and i can try to make like some fantastical weapon of mass destruction or whatever i don't really mind i quite like this game uh, and would like to play it more um so there's that Great. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.